What's up you guys? My name is Charlie. Thank you guys so much for clicking on this video. Um, as you can tell by the title, today I'm going to be doing a video about all of the essential things that I think you need to take with you to the hospital working as a patient care tech or a CNA or a nurse's assistant. There's still so many names for the same job. All of us are getting overworked and underpaid, so I don't see why we can't just have the same name. But all that aside, let's get into this video. I work part-time as a patient care technician on a med surge floor. Right now, I'm actually working in the medical ICU with this whole COVID situation. I got floated, which is scary, but um, this is just what anyone should take on any unit. Basic essentials that I think you guys should have. Okay, so the first thing that I would recommend is a clipboard. Um, you could also get like the folding ones. I have one for nursing school that's going to be in my nursing school hall that's coming later this summer. But for um, my job as a tech at the hospital, I feel like this one just fits in the Dynamap easier. If you don't know what a Dynamap is, it's the vitals machine. But like there's a little basket in it. I'll start a picture like right here. And I just sit this in the basket and have my report sheet on it and write everything I need. It's really, really helpful to have a clipboard. So I was just getting one. This one was maybe $3 at Target. It's black and gold. It matches my room. It matches my aesthetic. This is what I like to use. The second thing I'd like to tell you guys to bring is a reusable water bottle. Um, personally, I just use my Yeti cup. It's the Yeti Rambler. I think it's 20 ounces or so. I don't know, but it's very important to stay hydrated. I put ice in it when I first get there, a little lemon, and it's good for the whole shift. As you guys know, Yetis are really, really good to keep things cold. You need to stay hydrated when you're working and when you're walking around. You need to make sure you're sipping on some water. So this is what I would suggest, or just any reusable bottle, one that probably you can open and close because I've been thinking lately that germs could easily get down in the straw and that's kind of scary so make sure you have a reusable water bottle next um compression socks this is a new pair because i didn't want to show you guys a dirty pair of socks but this is just the cherokee brand yeah this is just the cherokee brand one size fits all these were 8.99 at my local scrub shop they have lots of different colors and i got these for nursing school because i think we have to have white ones but i have some of all different colors like i said didn't want to show you guys any dirty socks but these are really really good to wear you should always wear your compression socks sometimes i don't not gonna lie but you should you should be better than me and just wear these because your your feet and your legs and your veins when i don't wear them for like multiple shifts i can definitely feel the difference you should definitely 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 be wearing these because they really help with like that I can't, it's hard to explain like leg and foot fatigue is just like it's real you guys need to be wearing compression socks it's very important i suggest you guys bring a jacket i just have this black columbia jacket because in our hospital you have to either wear the ones that match your scrubs i didn't feel like buying the jacket that matched my scrubs because i only use it for that one job my nursing school and my other hospital job have different colors so i didn't want that just for a part-time job so you have to wear the matching colors or a black one with no hood. So that's why I wear my Columbia jacket. And I usually don't bring this upstairs, but I know it's clean right now. A lot of the things that I take to the hospital, I don't really bring them upstairs. Like my scrubs never come upstairs because they're gross. Especially now working on a COVID unit. Definitely, definitely not. But I know this is clean. So that's the only reason why I have it up here in my room. But yeah, make sure you know your hospital's policy on what other kinds and colors of jackets you can wear. Because it's always cold in the hospital. You're gonna need it. Speaking of things that I usually don't bring inside, I have my watch. I only wear this watch at work. It's just a black Casio watch. I think it's the same one I took to basic training. It's waterproof. It's um, plain black. It has military time, regular time. Didn't want to bring it upstairs to show you guys. It's in my car because it's filthy. Um, I had a patient vomit on me recently. And uh, yeah, I, even though it's clean, I just don't use it other than take it to the hospital. So I didn't want to bring it upstairs. I didn't want to show you guys. I didn't want to leave it on my wrist for as long as I have to. So I just take it off and leave it in my car. Even though it's clean, I still think it's dirty. So I'll leave it in the car. But yeah, make sure you have a watch. It's very important to have a watch. Sometimes you have to count respirations and that's really easy to do when you have a watch. <laughs> and the last two things that I suggest you guys bring, even though I know there's probably some things I'm forgetting, is a charger. Like I said, 12 hours is a very long time. You need your charger, you need to charge your phone. And something that I bring, I don't know if you can, but I bring my AirPods. I think these are a lifesaver because I didn't have them when I started my job, but I got them recently. When you're doing vitals, or not when you're doing vitals, I never have them when I'm actually doing patient care, but when you're charting, inputting the vitals, just to like pop them in, I usually just put one in, listen to a podcast or like YouTube videos, 
and when you're charting it just makes it go by a lot faster especially during like your lunch breaks or your regular breaks if you don't want anybody to talk to you just put them both in because i know some people like to talk during break i take my lunch break at three in the morning so i really don't want to hear anybody talk <laughs> but I really suggest you bring your AirPods. Don't get in trouble with them, but I think that they are a lifesaver. These are essential for me. One more thing I need to show you guys are like mini notebooks and like pens and pencils. Obviously you're gonna need those things. You're definitely gonna need pens working in the hospital. Um, the reason why I usually carry these around is just in case I need to jot something down. In case I'm doing vitals and I don't wanna take this whole thing in there. Sometimes I just like, write it down really quick. If a patient needs something and it's like really specific, I just write it down. I always just have this in my side scrub pocket because it's a lot easier than just going, getting the information, running, telling the nurse, coming back. I just write everything I need to know down in here. I just threw it, but I have another one. Um, another good thing about this is I am one of those people who like, if I hear something that I don't know, I have to write it down. There's so many like illnesses and stuff that I hear. I'm like, okay, let me write that down so I know what that means. Or like medications. I always like to write those down and Google it later. That's just me. I'm just like one of those people, I guess. But yeah, it's always good to have this. Also, you can write down everything that you've done in case you think you're gonna forget something. It's a lot easier to write it down than trying to remember because I'm just not at that spot in my career where I can just remember everything a patient tells me and be able to relay it back to my nurse. And it's a lot easier to just give it to your nurse sometimes when they're talking or busy, but you know they need it. I like to write it down neatly and just hand it to her so she can get it. My nurses are all women. Sorry for saying she, there's definitely male nurses. But yeah, these are a lifesaver. And like I said, pens and pencils, I didn't put that in this, um, video because that's kind of obvious but yeah that's everything thank you guys so much for watching this video happy nurses assistance week i didn't know that that was this week i haven't heard anything from my hospital i mean i made nurses cupcakes at my unit for nurses week which was like last month but if they don't want to repay the favor it's fine but thank you guys so much for watching thank you for supporting my channel um those of you who haven't seen my last video i suggest you go watch it um and yeah, if you have any nursing related questions or PCT related questions, you can message me on Instagram, on my nursing journey Instagram, or you can hit me up on my personal. That one's private on Instagram, but I will accept your requests because I love hearing from you guys and I love seeing your smiling faces. But thank you guys so much for watching this video and bye.